this video we're going to go over the blurbs page. Um, you're able to add blurbs while creating a project. So in theory you never actually have to use this page, but um, this will just show you all your blurbs, all your saved blurbs will be on this page. And you could also, if you want to add in blurbs um, before going to add a project, um, you can do it from this page. Now basically a blurb is just a a, a piece of content, a usually short piece of content, but uh, there's really no limits on the blurb. You could have a very long blurb if you want, but they can be used as resource boxes, could be used as uh, just pieces of content to inject into articles to make them more unique. I personally love to use it with uh, FCS's auto syndication feature. So I syndicate some high quality articles and then I inject one or two blurbs to make it a little bit more unique and uh, read more like curated content to Google. Um, so there's a lot of really cool things you could do with the blurbs. Um, now I'll just show you how uh, this page actually works. So let's say we wanted a blurb. This is a blurb. It usually is a short piece of content but it has to be okay so that's my blurb I could preview it I could spin it and then it'll be spin and then it'll preview the spin after it's been spun and then the name the name is only for you to be able to identify it um, so I'll just name it uh, my new spun blurb Edit, and there it shows up. I can now preview it. I can edit it, and I can delete it if I want to. So this is just uh, the page that'll organize your blurbs. It's uh, very straightforward. If you have a bunch of blurbs, you could search uh, for blurbs. You can uh, bulk delete them and whatnot. But that's basically all there is to the blurbs page, guys. I'll see you in the next video.